Good morning, Antique and Garden Showcase friends, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to take you along with me over to the mini mall. I was going to take you shopping the other day, and something happened uh, with the video. Anyway, I've got a car full of stuff back here. I've got tables. I've got vintage books, smalls, tons of stuff's going into the booth today. It's going to be re-merchandised. It's going to have a whole new look. So come with me to the Chestnut Street Mini Mall, to the Antique and Showcase booth, and I'll show you what's new there this week. So we have lots of new items in the booth this week. Let's start over in this corner. This is a really pretty walnut table with a glass top on it. Really nice turned legs. Wood grains really, really neat on this piece as well, as you can see in the uh, pictures there. This almost stayed at home with me. I like it that much. Um, it's priced at 130. It's a handcrafted table, really pretty construction it's dowel pinned in the sides really really neat piece over here we have the mitchell toll print captivation and i bought this is signed by the artist in addition to the print it is hand signed it is 75 dollars it was presented to the dean of education at eastern kentucky university and i bought that from the estate that was closing out there. So this one, another piece that almost stayed at home with me too. Can't keep everything though. I kind of rearranged this wall, some flower motif things. We've got some really pretty uh, nautical themed items here as well. Early lithograph, nice Asian print. And then this is a super framed print right here as well. In the corner, we're just gonna go around the whole booth. We've got this really pretty green lamp, a selection of blue cobalt, and then this nice table here is Ethan Allen. It is signed on the inside. Ethan Allen in the drawer. You can tell the dovetail construction, quality, drop leaf. This table was originally marked at 75 in here. It's a Georgian court style, and it's on sale 20% off right now. So come grab that table. It's a great buy. It's on brass casters too. All right, moving right along. We got in the really nice drum table or as online, they're called rent tables a lot. Nice selection of books. This table is marked at 135, it's a two drawer leather top. It has one little minor veneer spot by the drawer on the back side. Uh, the maker's unknown on that. I almost want to think it's English the way it looks, but it's kind of hard to tell. It is mahogany and I'll show you the only spot that's, there's just one little tiny spot right here that's missing. The rest of the table's in perfect condition. Leather top's great, bottom's great. But uh, super piece, it has two drawers. It has this nice beaded molding around every section. Nice handles, hardware on there too. All right. You may or may not have seen this piece. This is a nice little dressing bench. It's at $50, it's cheery. Still have lots of really nice flower pots available here as well. Brought in some little bird statuary. There's a frog. We have a really pretty eagle there, the little bird. If you're into federal glass, this is moonstone. I had some moonstone mugs and those sold, but I did find some moonstone bowls. So if you collect that or are interested, those are great pieces, hard to find. Also new to the booth is the Spivey Pottery Chip and Dip set at $30, really pretty color. Nice copper cookware over here. Lots of odds and ends, kitchen type things, baskets, collectibles, wine rack, child's chair is here. I got in a great selection of books this uh, week. I bought out an estate that had a whole lot of these. They're in great condition, lots of different titles. I'll kind of go down through there. You can see the titles on those. 
They're bound really well, nice vintage, well taken care of books. They range in price from eight to ten dollars each. Also new is this really pretty Waterford Marquee napkin holder. It's priced at twenty dollars. Does come with the pretty bright sunshiny gingham uh, dinner napkins there in it as well. Nice tea cart. Tea cart's priced at two twenty-five. It is Pennsylvania House. It's drop leaf cherry. On this side, we've got a new selection of vases. Lots of nice Mikasa Czech Republic vases. This one and this one. This one I can't find a maker on. All these vases range around eight to ten dollars. Really neat for those spring flowers. There's some nice paperweights here. More selection of vases. Really pretty depression glass cookie jar. Nice cake stand down here too. Um, a lot of people are looking for a great cake stands. That's a really super one. Little Italian Venetian style purse. Kind of has that Murano look. I don't think it's Murano, but it's probably from Italy or that area, I would say. More green forest, forest green glass. More vases and a pretty little... Um, blue hand-painted cup there as well. This lamp is Washington Drape by Aladdin. A really pretty piece as well. You usually see Lincoln Drape quite a bit. Washington Drape is one you may not see as much. There are some other lamps and lighting over here available too. And as you can see, if you're on YouTube right now, you already know this, but we're on YouTube. We're on Facebook and we also have a website and add it on their Instagram too. So I'm just gonna take a little stroll around the store here and see if there's anything I need. People are stocking up for the weekend and there's lots of things coming in. So let's just take a little look around here today. And starting over in the second building here that we have and just kind of scan through some of the booths as we go. Some neat instruments back there. Lots of variety in the store. You'll find a wide variety of things to choose from. And over here, I have a few pieces of Bobby pottery, but this booth has quite a bit in it to choose from different colors and things. If you're looking for some cute little vintage side chairs, with these with little leaves on them. Nice heavy metal. Over here they always have some really pretty artwork cameras vintage pieces as well. This was a great day to take a tour. There are a few people in here shopping and I'm trying not to get in their way, but I am getting my stuff finished up and I'm gonna head back home and do some outdoor work, but I thought, well, I'll get this footage. You all would enjoy seeing some of the things around here. Bobby Pottery, I'm always talking about this as a picture of where it used to be. If you're familiar with Maker's Mark Bourbon, there's the barrels. Weisenberger Mill, known for their flour. All these pictures are kind of Kentucky historical or historical type pictures. I love them. I love looking through here. Let's take a look over this way. like this booth is running 20% off right now. I typically don't do a lot of sales. I'll let mine go for a while and then I'll mark down as needed. I just find that I do just as well without a sale. 
up in the front window there's a lot of different things up here this vendor finds a lot of different vintage as well as some really neat plants and plantings you'll find all kinds of things around in the plant world in here on all kinds of vintage hope we don't get glare off the street from here but i'll try to do my best we even have the bathroom sink pretty ponytail palm another one lots of pieces over here i'll try not to flip the camera around as much as i can keep from and of course you can always pause and look if you see something in here that you like and on this last shelf there's some vintage glassware and things this is where i actually bought my easter cactus that i have at home and i think there's one more left here this booth typically has a lot of furniture, a lot of outdoor things as well. They've got some nice mid-century lighting there, modern type. Chip cans, old lunch boxes. They have some vintage books too. Really large face. That's a super large face. And over here, this will conclude our tour of the second building here. I think I bought a ruby red glass out of there that I was looking for not too long ago. looking for good serveware, glasses, different things. There's a lot of things to be found in here, as well as figurines, furniture, you name it, it will be here. Here at the front door, let's take a look at the first booth as you come in. New booth over here, lots of different things, including some basket filler, things for Easter baskets and gifts, Vintage, Ray Dunn, be sure to always look up because things are always on top of shelves and under shelves. Lots of different things available here, more different types of surfware, really pretty Japanese lusterware set. I like Lusterware. In fact, I have a small lamp base in my booth uh, with Lusterware. And some more different types of plants. And odds and ends. You might recognize this space as my old space where I started out at, but really pretty. We've got this fixed really nice. Nice rug on the floor. Pretty pieces of furniture. Neat space. Right next door, some clothing. A little corner cupboard with some items back here. Like I said, always look up and down and underneath. You will never know what you find. This looks like the perfect coffee bar here almost. And then from this vantage point, you can see my home base over here. I've already kind of taken you through there, but I'll try to get the whole thing in if we can. Back up into this space a bit. It's hard to get this all in one frame anymore, but neat. Right next to me, there were some people in here, so I didn't bother filming. 
a minute ago. Some iron skillets. A lot of vintage jars. Washboard. A neat punch bowl. All right, let's go take in the other side. If you come in the back door, you're gonna find a whole section of showcases to look at first. And you're gonna find coins, knives, just a variety of things in here. All sorts of collectibles. More Bobby pottery down here. literal treasure trove of different things to look for. I mean, if you take your time, there's no telling what you'll find around in these cases alone. All right, over here. This booth is having a 20% off sale as well. Try to get as much in here as I can. All right. <laughs> like I said, there's something around every corner in here. Just, you really have to look and look. And it's such a wide variety of items that are available. Um, to choose from. I mean, all different types of tastes, different types of collectibles, plants, seasonal. You name it, there's a little bit of it all in here. Even clothing. Kids clothing looks like. This is a new space that's just come in, so I'm gonna take a look around in here. Just noticing some of the things they're bringing in. It's always good to check out a new space because there's new and different things. So over here, this booth looks like 20% off as well. Ten percent off on this booth right now. Oh, that's a neat bunny rabbit. Okay, looks like we got somebody coming in over here. We still have some Christmas themed things in here. Always look for Christmas things year round. You can never not look for those good vintagey Christmas items. All right, moving right along. Hopscotch home over here. I think they're getting some new and updated things in here as well. But we'll take a look at what they got. It always smells so good in here. Like I said, be sure to pause this video. If there's anything you want to see, you can take a look at. Also, looks like this booth is 20% off this month.
Let's take a look over here. This booth is marked 20% off as well. I always like looking for the old iron cookware. There's always something special about finding just that perfect piece for your kitchen too. And I've got one piece in mind that I haven't been able to find just yet. I saw it in pictures at another shop here in town, went to get it and it was already sold. So I'll find it one of these days. It's a little, um, almost like a little saucepan, but smaller than that in iron. Lots going on in here, a lot of people shopping. A lot of people working in their booths. So I'm trying not to bother those, but just give you a good idea of the variety of things that are in here. And the potting shed is a local uh, plant nursery here. They have a booth in here as well. They have some beautiful house plants, typically bulbs and all sorts of things for gardening. They've got their Easter eggs on a branch up here for the season. They still got some amaryllis bulbs left, looks like. And some succulents in the window. Cactus. Bromeliad. Like the succulents are running thin over here. It's really popular with a lot of people. I've got some great pots in my booth too that you can use to make some dish gardens out of those. They've also got a good selection of seed here, botanical interest seeds, different types of flowers, and herbs, and vegetables, all sorts of things. the potting shed and then let's wrap this up with the last booth here by the front door lots of pottery old vintage tupperware that used to be a lettuce keeper and my mother used to have one of those we'd always keep the iceberg lettuce in that thing It's a large vessel for if you're wanting to put flowers in. Kind of unusual. Always looking for unusual pieces like that. All right. Well, that's a little tour of the shop as a whole. Maybe you saw something here that you'd love. Come visit us, 404 Chestnut Street, Berea, Kentucky. Well, that's going to wrap it up today, folks. I hope you enjoyed that little tour of the Chestnut Street Mini Mall. We're here by the back door. Come visit us sometime, Berea, Kentucky, 404 Chestnut Street. We'll be glad to have you. Hope you saw something you enjoyed in this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you have not subscribed, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Be sure to hit the thumbs up on there and leave some comments. That helps the video out as well. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.